In the first case of the novel coronavirus disease was diagnosed in Croatia on February 25th. And since then, the epidemic has really developed very in a very similar way to other European countries. As of Sunday, March 22nd, we have 254 cases confirmed, including some of the health workers. Lockdown measures have been implemented across the country, including regulation of shop working hours and also closure of non-essential services, kindergartens and schools. Even though the first response to the epidemic was quite satisfactory, we are worried how the health system will deal with the increase uh, of number of patients and cases. So the health system has been weakened over the last few decades by commercialization and privatization. During this process, some of the key health infrastructure has been damaged or literally made unexistent. For example, the Institute of Immunology used to produce uh, high quality medical products locally, including vaccines and also interferon but has no longer the capacities to do so. So the country largely depends on the import of medicines uh, for the health system to, uh, to function. Also, uh, health workers are working around the clock, but the problem remains that the public health system is largely understaffed and that the workload that the health workers are facing might be too much. Also, some concerns have been expressed already about the availability of protective equipment because it seems that there will be not enough equipment to protect all the health workers, but also workers in other sectors such as cashiers or cleaning services workers. On the other hand, waiters, uh, hospitality workers, but also kindergarten teachers have been dismissed in large numbers already and it still remains unclear how the government is going to address the rights and the needs of homeless people, of migrants, of asylum seekers during the epidemic. And finally, as the epidemic wasn't enough itself, uh, a strong earthquake hit Zagreb on Sunday morning and people reacted by assembling in groups and leaving their homes uh, even though social distancing is being advised at all times. And, well, some of the hospitals, including one of the maternity wards, were damaged during the earthquake, and this put additional strain on the health infrastructure we have. So basically, what we are afraid of now is that when the number of patients increases, and when their needs become larger, the health system might just fall apart.